everybody welcome to today's tutorial of the pug this is Dinky and Tinsel who are going to be our models for the day yes hello Dinky hello Tinsel how are you are you looking forward to doing some drawing today with the children yes I thought you might be where are the children Dinky they're all at home getting ready to draw your faces yes they are are you looking forward to this you are super where are the children where are we going to do the drawing let's go upstairs and find out shall we well dinky and tinsel you have been busy just look at those super pictures you've done and Tinsel, you've done a self-portrait. Whilst we're sitting here, every, everyone looking at Dinky and Tinsel, just have a look at Tinsel's forehead. She's got a diamond on her head and Dinky's got like a Z mark, which is the Harry Potter mark, I call it. So let's get on. These are the items that we're going to use today. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a piece of paper as usual. We're going to need a circle shape. This is a Pringle lid, eight centimeters diameter. We're going to need a penny coin. We're going to need a 2p coin. Yes, Dinky and Dints will be quiet. And we're going to need a ruler, an eraser, we're going to need a normal HB pencil. We're going to need a black marker or felt tip pen. And then we're going to need at least three colored pencils, pens or paints. So let's move these aside. I think you can all hear tinsel putting some commentary in. Now if you've got a, a piece of paper we're going to use it sideways or what's called landscape so that the pug picture will fit on nicely. If you turn the piece, the piece of paper up the other way it won't fit the piece of paper. So first of all we need to take our circle disc shape Place it at about this point on the paper and very lightly draw around. This is going to be a guideline for the shape of our pug's face. Now, what we need to do next is decide what angle we want the pug's head to tilt. If you noticed in the videos, pugs have a tendency to tilt their head a lot. So, I've done my pugs with his head tilting this way so you need to tilt your paper sideways then put a dot in the middle of the circle and do a very faint line across the middle of the circle and then another line down from top to bottom of the circle and these, these pencil and luck marks need to be quite light because they're just our guidelines to make it easier for you to draw. So now we're going to put two dots here and two dots here. And now I want you to join those dots and we're making a kind of triangle shape. But this is going to be the pug's nose. Yes, the nose that lots of snoring comes out of. And then put a little line down to meet the pug's mouth and then we're going to do a kind of upside down U shape and that makes part of his muzzle and part of his mouth and then put a dot here and do sort of sweepy line and from his nose Follow this line out to join the other dot and do the same on the other side. Put a dot there and 
join the lines together. Now we're starting to get the pug's muzzle. Now we need to do the pug's mouth. I'm going to give my pug a tongue that's hanging out. So we kind of do a wide flat M shape and then create the shape of his tongue. Any size you like. And just tidy up, put a, put a few little dots for his nostrils. And then you need to do two more dots just above his nose. And join those two together. Put a dot there. Take your line down to that dot. And this is a kind of wrinkle that sits above the pug's muzzle. So another little dot down there. And join that up to the first line. And there we have the first wrinkle. Now we need to take our penny and we're going to place it on that centre line. Make sure that it sits above his wrinkle and draw around the penny. And do the same again on the other side. Now we're going to do a circle inside. Try and make the circle nice and big. Put a little circle of white inside and then we're going to do another line on the side of the eye. And again on the other side do a big circle. This is going to be for the black of his eye. And another little white bit for the light reflection. And then a line just inside here. This makes the pug look a little bit boggle-eyed because you know they do have quite bulgy eyes. Yes, it's okay, dinky and tinsel. You're still beautiful even though you do have boggly eyes. And now this is drawing the black mask shape that they all have around their eyes. So again, start from that point above the nose a little dot above his eye, take your line up and then carry on drawing. Can you see the shape that I'm making? And bring it down to join his muzzle. Now put two dots here on the top of the circle. We're going to create a slightly wiggly line. So that's the top of the pug's head. And that's going to make it look a little bit wrinkled. And now we're going to create the ears. So put a dot over there and join the top line to that. Put a dot down here. Join the top to the bottom. And then do a sort of kind of wiggly line and curve it round. Now we have the pug's ear and then a little line underneath to join the ear to the bottom of his head. Put a dot there and a dot there and again draw a line down. Put a dot at the bottom of his ear. Take the line down, curve it round the top. And I'm just drawing in the line of the pug's face. I'm doing the same on the other side. Oh, don't forget to join his ear to the bottom of his head. Now we're going to do the markings that pugs have. And this pug I'm going to, I'm copying tinsel. So first of all we do a line up the middle 
and Tinsel's got a diamond shape on her forehead so we're going to do like a V shape and then an upside down V shape to make the diamond and then we're going to put a little wrinkle across and then another little line comes up next to that and goes out to one side and makes another wrinkle there we have Tinsel's forehead markings now should you want to do Dinky's Dinky has what I call Harry Potter's wizard mark so she has like a Z mark with a line down like this and that makes Dinky's forehead so if you want to do Dinky that's the shape you need to put on the forehead obviously not as big as the one that I've just drawn Pugs have fallen asleep now. Can you hear Dinky snoring? So now we need to rub out all the guidelines and tidy our face up. So the lines that you made across the middle and from top to bottom, just carefully rub them out. And if your dots are very strong, just gently take away the dots. Don't worry too much if you rub out some of your drawing because we can go over again when we've finished with the pen. And now let's just tidy up and make our lines a little bit stronger. halfway through the video at the moment um, some of you might want to just do the pugs ahead if you've got bored and you want to stop here here's the point to stop and what I would suggest is if you just want to do the pug's head, don't tilt the paper at the beginning. Just keep the paper straight sideways. Oh, when we do the nose, do a little circle on the top of his nose so that when you paint the nose black, you leave a little white bit so that it makes his nose look shiny. draw in some little markings for the muzzles and then put some whiskers because they've all got lovely little whiskers okay now we turn our picture straight again and as you can see we've created a tilting pug's head put a little dot here and then we're going to draw a little line down and curve it in and this is going to start making the pug's neck put a dot here and then draw a line slightly curved line down to this dot put another dot here on his muzzle and again we're going to draw down put a dot down to near his tongue and draw a line down a little dot just above it a little dot just there and again draw down slightly curved line dot here and a dot here and join draw down to that dot and then we're going to just make a little line which is going to be the top of the pug's back so now you need to take your ruler Oh no, what we're going to use, we're going to use a pencil. I thought this might make it easier. You need a pencil that's about a centimetre thick. Place it on the paper and draw on each side of the pencil. This is going to give us a guideline for where our pug's feet are going to end. So take your pencil, place it in line with his eye 
and in line with the end of the line that you've just drawn make two little markings on either side of your pencil one line right down to that top line and the other line finishing just a little bit above hold your pencil here make a little mark the other side of where the pencil sits and that's going to show you where the other leg of the pug needs to go so again draw down each side of the pencil this side and if you do make a mistake like I just have you can always rub out take one line all the way down to the bottom and the other line slightly higher because that's going to be the, the leg that sits in front and so now carefully join up the leg to the body and when you do the foot do a kind of upside down C shape and then put some toes in Again on this side, do a dot just here, draw down, do a dot, dot there, C gently curve down and join the leg and again do a kind of upside down C shape making his other paw and put some toenails in. Put a dot here and then take a slightly curved line and then we've got his chest now <clears throat> put a dot here and we're going to carry on the line of the body and this is making the pug's tummy now we're going to take the pencil again the fat, fat pencil you need to place it about that distance from the pug's head and again draw your line down place your pencil make a little mark and then move your pencil to make the other leg draw either side your pencil again back line goes lower that line finishes just a little bit higher curve the leg down from the body and then do your upside down C shape see I wasn't happy with that I didn't make a big enough C shape and then put the toenails in now you need to put a dot there and a dot there in line with that top body wrinkle and do a nice curved line down to meet the first dot and then join that to the leg marking that we made and now what we need to do is take your Pringles lid or your circle again place it on the body the back of the the pug and we're just going to use the shape of this to create the, the pug's bottom so just do a little line like that put a dot here join it to the circle that you've just made put a dot here and then kind of make a sort of bendy part for the back of his leg and then join that in to the guideline of the pencil that you just made <coughs> and again 
do your upside down C shape and put some toenails in. Now we're going to take the two penny coin. This is going to make the tail, that lovely curly little tail that pugs have. So place your coin just there. And now as you go up and around, we're going to do some little V shapes. And this is so that it looks like a furry tail and not a smooth tail. Bring your line all the way down and then come up just inside of the original line. Again, do a few more V sign shapes and finish your tail with a little circle. And there you have a lovely pug's curly tail. Now we need to just rub away our guidelines and any dots we don't want to see. Do you think? I think Dinky and Tinsel are exhausted after all their drawing. They're both fast asleep now. So now we need to take our black felt tip pen or marker and start going over all the lines of your drawing outlining around his ears round his face doing his black mask don't forget when you do the blacks of his eyes to leave the little white bit for the light reflection and if you do those little white bits on the outside of his eyes you will make them look very boggle-eyed which is a good look, a cute look for pugs. Pugs do come in different colours, but the pug we've done today, you can get black pugs. But if you did a black Pug, you wouldn't see all the facial markings that I think make pugs look really cute. So today we're going to do the, the sandy colour pug with the black facial markings. Again, when we do the nose make sure you leave a little sh white shape at the top so that it looks like the he's got a shiny nose <clears throat> and now it's time to start filling him in so I've chosen to give him a pink tongue I used a dark grey, I didn't use black, I used a dark grey for doing his ears and his facial markings and his muzzle. And that's it. And I used a, a yellowy cream colour to do his body like this. And this is what you need to do. So get creative, start colouring in and don't forget to send your pictures in. See you all soon. Hello. 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 Hello.